I have, um, I have a Twitter question that was handed to me from Shala Thomas. What's the best advice your character has given that you have stolen or will steal? Oh. Anyone want to take that? Best advice? Yeah. That's given to us? Best advice that you has been your character has given to someone that maybe oh. you'll use. Amber did a good thing this last uh, season. If you guys oh. are interested, but Amber did. Um, she she had a she was in sort of a tough spot with Ryan, and you know, there was no lack of love there at all. She loved him very much, but it seemed like um, maybe at that point in time, you know, uh, he wasn't really ready, or it was sort of their communication wasn't clear. And you know, I think she she was she took a moment to really. Uh, make sure that she wasn't following a path that wasn't honest and open and clear and you know present and stuff and she sort of drew from her past and sort of was able to view it from a removed perspective and go I love you and this isn't about the fact that I you know I, that I want to be with you but maybe we need a little bit of space to kind of get our own heads clear so that we can enter into this as two people who are you know ready to be together and not sort of get entangled with each other in, a, in an unhealthy way. I think that's pretty smart. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You raised me well. Um, I, we had a scene where we take Jabbar to the doctor, and Dr. Joe. And, uh, <laughs> Not just any doctor. Uh, during the exam, um, I kind of just was, because I didn't talk much in the scene. Guys, when I don't have many words, I kind of skim through stuff. So sometimes I'm hearing things for the first time in seeing <laughs> And uh, on this day, Dr. Joe had a lot of heavy lifting, so I was just kind of in the scene enjoying his performance, and he said, uh, he said, do you have a skin rash? Yes, you do. Uh, do. Do you have joint pain? Yes, you do. Uh, do you have a lot of farts? Yes, you do. In my head, I'm like, I have all three of them. <laughs> for real. He said, do you have a weed allergy? This, our boy had celiac disease. I left that day and I said, I have a weed allergy. <laughs> um, and I then proceeded to eat gluten-free for three months and I still have a rash. <laughs> and, 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 and. <laughs> you shouldn't always listen to the shit you learn. In <laughs> Um, I would I would say in a, in, a, in a different in a different vein. I think it was season three that Amber was in a car accident. Season two or three? Three. Three. Season right? three, she was in a car accident. She was in a two. Two. Season two. Season two. She was in a she was in a DUI situation. And one of, I don't know if I can call this advice so much as it's a really cool thing to say to a teenager who's behaved recklessly. Uh, Zeke yeah. takes Amber to the impound lot where mm -hmm. the car is. And this is one of those moments where maybe it wasn't written like you're going to cry, but like in the way Craig T did, it just broke Already me down. Crying. But I'm crying right now. Zeke, <laughs> <Just thinking about laughs> <it>. Zeke, <laughs> Zeke brings Amber out there and he talks about how he dreamt all this, his kids, his grandchildren, and he let her know, I'm going to cry now, Sam. I'm crying. <laughs> Here we go. He looked at her and he said, you do not have permission to mess with my dreams. Mm. And I thought that was so cool. <laughs> It's funny, speaking of gas. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 it sits back there. <laughs>